Good day, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to our video. Today, we're going to discuss another topic in basic calculus or in general calculus. And that topic is examples, examples of evaluating, evaluating limits. Previously, in the last few videos, we have discussed the intuitive notion of what a limit is in defining it by its informal definition. I assume that you have learned the limit laws in your different classes. Now, this lecture will provide you more examples of evaluating limits. Let's get started. Ngayon, we'll proceed by um, citing halimbawas or mga examples. Number one. Find, find the limit as x approaches negative 1 of x cubed of the function x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2x plus 1. Now, that is a polynomial function. That is a polynomial because it is in the form of a polynomial. Alam niyo naman kung polynomial, di ba? Ngayon, paano yan ginagawa? So, this is just... By applying the limit loss solution, let's apply the limit loss now. This is the limit which common practice should be we write the given first in the left. The baganto. And to yan. 2x plus 1. And what we'll do is just substitute the value of x, the negative 1, do a function. Or, pero paano yung sinusulat ng properly? Ganito kasi yung pinaka-intuitive idea niyan. Tigi-isa, susulat mo yung limit. Doon sa function, kumbaga parang dinidistribute mo yung limit but you're basically not distributing it. Diba ganito? 3x squared as x approaches negative 1 plus the limit plus the limit as x approaches negative 1 of 2x plus the limit as x approaches negative 1 of negative 1. Tama ba tayo doon, guys? Ngayon, ganun lang ginagawa basically sa pag-evaluate ng limits. You're just distributing the, the limit operator to the function itself. Ngayon, ang gagawin mo is that kapag nakakita ka ng mga constants like this, mga constants like this, ilalabas mo siya. Yung mga, ano, mga, mga na, coefficient ng, ano, ng tawag dito ng mga polynomials ngayon eh sir tanong wala naman tong variable walang mga x yan walang ganun paano yan ano i-evaluate eh, di ba a limit of a constant is just the constant so ang sagot dyan is basically negative 1 tama negative 1 yan ba so ano mangyayari bakit ba negative 1 if positive 1 tong given so this is wrong. I-delete natin ito. Ayan. Write natin ito 1. So, this is basically positive 1. So, correct? Ngayon, ang gagawin mo is just equal to, ang gagawin mo, this is the limit as x approaches negative 1 of x cubed minus 3. The limit as x approaches negative 1 of x squared plus 2 the limit as x approaches negative 1, x plus 1. Diba? Ganun ang ginagawa. Ngayon, evaluate it. Negative 1 cube minus 3 negative 1 squared plus 2 times negative 1 plus 1. Kung baga ang ginawa lang is that we evaluated negative 1 to the variables. Ito, dito. Sinabstitute nyo lang basically. Ito, dito. Ito dito. Sinabstitute lang. Yun ang dahilan doon. So, if we evaluate this, this is negative 1. This is positive 1. This is negative 2. Diba? So, magiging negative 1 minus 3 times 1 minus 2 plus 1. So, this is negative 4 minus 2 plus 1 minus 6 plus 1 or negative 5. The answer to the first example is negative 5. That is the limit 
as that polynomial function approaches to. Ganun lang yun. So, if we have a polynomial example, what about if we have a radical expression? Alam niyo naman yung mga, rad eh, mga radical, pero yung mga rational expression muna. Ngayon, what am I talking about? Determine the limit as x approaches 3 of x squared plus 3x over x plus 2. Ngayon, una sa lahat, in a rational expression, we avoid having a zero denominator, correct? Kailangan walang zero denominator. So, how do we check this? We have a solution to this problem. How do we um, check this? First note that, first note that, kailangan yung denominator mo ay hindi equal sa zero kapag in-evaluate yung limit. So, we first check the denominator, the limit of the denominator. Eh, di ba paano yung ginagawa? The limit as x approaches 3 of x plus the limit. Kapag nasanay na kayo, kasi pinapakita ko muna itong longer method, yung, yung para masanay kayo sa limit loss, dinidistribute. Pero kapag nasanay na kayo, just substitute. You can just substitute this to this. Kaya magiging 3 plus 2 lang yun. Eh, pinapakita ko lang yung lim, ma apply yung limit loss. So this is 3 plus 2, which is equal to 5. Yan na ba yung limit? Hindi. Limit lang ng denominator yan. Ang gusto ko lang masabi, this is not equal to 0. So we can apply the limit loss. Hence, this is copy the given as common practice over x plus 2. Tama? <clears throat> Anong gagawin natin? E di pwede na natin gawin yung substitution method na ginagawa. Or this is the limit of the numerator as x approaches 3 over the limit of the denominator. Diba? Eh, sige, try na natin to in magiging ano tayo, mag, mag daw tayo dito sa notations. So, ang gagawin natin, we can just substitute it. And by the way, put parentheses to your polynomials. Kapag mga ganyan ng ano. Kasi... Para, ang sinasabi lang nito, limit lang siya. Kapag yun lang walang parenthesis, limit lang siya nito. Hindi kasama to. Parang kailangan naka-parenthesis siya to indicate na limit siya ng buong, fun, ng buong polynomial. So, ganito. Ano mangyayari dyan? So, we can just substitute. This is 3 squared plus 3 times 3 all over 3 plus 2. This is 9 plus, what is 3 times 3? 9, there all over 5. Or, this is 18 over 5. Basically, this is 18 over 5. So, that's the final answer. Now, we have a polynomial example. We have a rational expression example. What about a radical expression? An expression involving radicals. Ayan, number 3. This is the last example of this video. Um, evaluate. Dami kong ginamit na. Ano, eh? Find, determine, and evaluate. Well, instructions lang. The limit as x approaches, let's say 3 again, of the square root of x cubed minus 3x squared plus 9. How do we do this? Eh, but this is just simple. This is just simple. Ngayon, we have to check if the limit of the polynomial inside is greater than 0. Bakit? Kasi we never allow a radical that has a negative value. So, negative 2. In real numbers, ha? Pwede yan in complex numbers. So, we have to check if the radicand, yun yung tawag sa nasa loob ng radical, radicand, if the radicand is greater than 0. How do we check this? Note that, ganito gagawin. Note that the limit as x approaches 3 of x cubed minus 3x squared plus 9 is just equal to, ano gagawin nyo? Substitute. 3 cubed minus 3 squared plus 9. And what is 3 cubed? This is 27. Kasi 3 times 3 times 3. Minus 3 times 3 squared or 9 plus 9. Eh, but this is 27. Negative 27. Eh, 27 plus negative 27 is 0. So, magiging 9 yan. So, this, this is just equal to 9, which is greater than 0. 
So we can proceed by this method. Copy the given. Or again, yung mga word na hands. Um, yan, ng square root of x cubed minus 3x squared plus 9. Magiging, gagawin nyo, this is the limit. No, no, no. You just put the square root and put the limit inside. Lalagyan nyo na yung limit sa loob. x cubed minus 3x squared plus 9. So, ano mangyayari? Eh, nakuha nyo na yan. Ano ba yung limit na yan? Di ba 9? Ito yun, no? Nasa taas. Nakuha nyo na yun, eh. Eh, kaya yun yung gaganda na nag-check kasi natutulungan kayo for solutions. Ngayon, limit, this is the square root of 9 or basically 3. Tama ba? So that's pretty much it guys. Ganun lang siya. Ang tanong, sir, paano naman po kapag hindi siya greater than 0 and yung ano naman, yung denominator ng rational function mo naging 0 so sa chinek nyo, you cannot apply this method May mga ibang ginagawa dyan. You can uh, factor out, you can apply the L'Hopital's rule, and so on. And in future videos, we will be discussing such cases. I hope you learned something today. I hope that you have appreciated this discussion about evaluation of limits as a part of an introductory calculus course. In the next few videos, we will be discussing a lot of examples involving such limits. And until then, mathematicians, keep safe and have a great day. Good, goodbye, Pikachu, and goodbye, guys.